Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. How'd you like the happy faces I got here? Happy balloons. <laughs> this is all because yesterday was the birthday of our Mia. Mia Rosine, heir, Feast of the Holy Rosary. Mia uh, was born on October 7. Okay? And, uh, well, we had a birthday celebration and we had these balloons. And why the happy faces? Why the yellow balloons? Well, she just happens to be a big fan of the color yellow. And so, yeah. Say hi, Mia. Hi. <laughs> She doesn't like me showing her uh, on camera. Anyway, okay. Those are the remnants of uh, Mia's celebration yesterday. Oops, my stool is going down again. <laughs> what happened here? Okay, let's bring it back up. Okay, there we go. Okay, everybody, today is October 8th. Uh-oh, <laughs> up, gave up already. October 8th. Thursday, Thursday morning. So today we're going to uh, combine. You see, yesterday we weren't able to have the uh, commentary. Uh, so we're going to combine the gospel from yesterday and today's gospel because they are pretty much related to each other. So today the gospel comes from St. Luke chapter 11, verses 5 to 13. Yesterday's gospel was about our Lord teaching his disciples to pray. And, and our Lord taught them his prayer. That's why it's called the Lord's Prayer. The Our Father, right? Our Father who art in heaven, etc. Today, there's a kind of a continuation of that theme of prayer. If in the Our Father, um, uh, we express a few things uh, that really capsulizes our relationship with God. Okay? In the first place, Jesus has taught us to call God our Father. So He is uh, being presented to us by Jesus as a Father that He really is. So He's not just the El Shaddai, the Elohim, the um, uh, all the other names that they used to give him, you know, that the, that the Jews in, in the Old Testament used to give God, right? The Almighty, the All Powerful, the uh, Creator. Of course, all of those are true. But Jesus, when he came to earth, revealed to us a, a different and the more intimate side, so to speak, of our God. And that is the fact that he is, besides being creator and Lord of heaven and earth and all powerful, all knowing, all mighty and all of that. This same God is a father to us. Okay, is a father. And your father knows. Our father knows us. He knew us from our mother's wombs. He knew us from all eternity before we were all even born into this world. He knows what we need before we even ask for it. Right? Jesus himself told us that. Your father knows what you need before you even ask for it. But nevertheless, because he is your father, then it, it behooves us to relate to this Father, to this God, as children who, just like any children, just like any child, <laughs> is, is wholly dependent, wholly dependent on the care, the affection, the, the attention of a parent or his parents. So, and that is why when, uh, when our Lord taught us the Our Father, you see there all the expressions of a pious child relating to his father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The expression of piety, devotion, 
right there from the very first phrases of the Our Father, right? that we recognize immediately that this God who is our Father is at the same time the all-powerful, all-knowing uh, 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 person to whom we owe uh, our pious devotion and our adoration. Okay? And then we express to him all our dependence. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our daily bread. We know it comes from you. We know that every good thing comes from you. And we want to acknowledge the fact that everything comes from you. And so here we are humbly petitioning you and begging you to give us this day our daily bread, our daily sustenance. Not only our material uh, uh, sustenance, not only the things we need to be materially and physically uh, sustained, but moreover, the graces we need to sustain our souls, the graces we need to keep us spiritually healthy, spiritually alive. See? In very much the same manner that you are so dependent on your parents to feed you, to clothe you, to house you. See? These are all the material things that your parents give you. Well, our parent, God, our father, God, does the same to us, both materially and spiritually. We are all dependent on the bounties that comes from God's richness and abundance. See? So, and we acknowledge that. We humbly, humbly acknowledge that as good children. That is the way we relate to our father, God. Now, besides, besides acknowledging that we are dependent on God and we, we owe God for everything and we humbly petition God for everything, we also ask God to preserve us. Preserve us from temptation. Preserve us from sinning so that we don't offend Him. So You see, even that, even our attitude towards God, even our attitude of loving God, uh, our disposition of wanting to love God and please God is a consequence of His grace towards us. Okay? Even that is a grace that comes from God. All we are doing really is to respond to that grace. That is why even that we ask from Him. See, do not bring us to temptation. Do not allow us to, to do things to our perdition. Save us from ourselves, in other words, is what we're trying to tell God the Father. Save us from our own sinfulness and help us to be faithful to you. See? So beautiful, beautiful, and very rich, uh, 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 short prayer. It's a very short prayer, the Our Father. But it is very, very rich in meaning and significance for each and every one of us. So I would like to encourage each and every one of you, you know, you, when you pray the Our Father, you really think of the words that you are saying and, and that you really mean it. You really mean it so that you really understand and grow in the appreciation and understanding of what you are praying. See? And that was the Our Father. And then today, Our Lord, well, uh, 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 um, uh, reinforces for us the... the uh, the way that the Father provides for us. He gives us here uh, the parable of somebody who, um, was, uh, who, who accommodated a friend who was on a journey. And the friend came late at night and he didn't have any provisions. And he knocks on his neighbors and asks, him, hey, you know, give me some bread because I had a friend who came. And the guy, well, out of the, pers <laughs> the persistence of his neighbor, okay, here you go, just go and... You know, even if I, my whole household is already asleep, but because this guy is pestering me, okay, here's your loaf of bread, right? And then Jesus asks, you know, I, uh, you, do, do you think he did that because he was really generous? Well, no, it's really more because he wanted to avoid 
uh, being pestered, right? But, you know, our, your Father God is not like that. Your Father God provides you things in life, not because you pester Him, but because of His own goodness. But Jesus is telling us, but I want you, you know, to be as persistent as this, this person. Keep knocking on the door of your Father God. See? Yeah, let's emulate the, the, the insistent persistence of that person in need when it comes to prayer. To pray without ceasing. To keep knocking on the door of God okay, until we get what we ask for. Of course, we don't always get what we ask for, but at least, at least we show God our needs through our persistent prayer. And our Lord tells us, yeah, that's a good attitude. And He tells us, I tell you, Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. That is what happens when we pray. Ask and you will receive. You will always receive an answer. Sometimes it's a yes. Sometimes it's a no. But you will always receive an answer. Okay? Let's not forget that. Let us never say... God never answers my prayers. No, that's not true. God always answers our prayers. But sometimes He answers with a no. Just like you. You ask Papa for things. You don't always get a yes. Right? Sometimes you get a no for an answer. And why? Why? Because sometimes Papa knows better what is good for you. You, you only think it's good for you. But Papa knows better. Papa knows, sees a bigger picture of what might be good for you. And so sometimes Papa says no to your request because it's better for you not to have what you're asking for at that moment. So the same thing is true with our Father God, our Papa God. See? He doesn't always say yes to our requests, to our prayers. But He, he always answers. Okay? Ask and you will receive. You will always receive an answer. It may not always be a yes, but you will always receive an answer. Seek and you will find. Yes, you will always find. Especially if you're seeking enlightenment. If you're seeking consolation. If you're seeking uh, uh, wisdom and understanding. Of the things of God and understanding what's happening in your life. Yes, you will always, you will always find an answer. If you seek humbly. If you seek sincerely. If you seek honestly. Not trying to fool yourselves. Not trying to give yourselves false answers. <laughs> If you seek honestly, you're going to find answers. Eh? Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. Knock and the door will be open. When sometimes we find ourselves at the, at the verge of giving up. Because we find circumstances in our life to be challenging, to be difficult. Don't hesitate to ask, to knock on the door of help. To knock on the door of God to help you get through whatever difficulties you're going through in life. Don't hesitate to knock. Don't hesitate to bang the doors of heaven. Our Lord Himself tells us that. Knock and the door will be open to you. Knock. Knock. For anyone, for everyone who asks, receives. Okay? Everyone who asks, receives. Anyone who seeks, finds. And anyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Because what father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish? Okay? If us human fathers, parents... Would not dare to give our children anything bad. That's what our Lord is saying here. What more your father? What more your father God? He will always, always only give you what is good for you. Okay? He will always give you what is good for you. 
if you who are wicked know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more your Father in heaven? In the whole, in, in, yeah, how much, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? Okay? But we need to put our, our dispositions in check. Okay? How should we pray? How should we pray? Number one disposition is we should pray with humility all the time. We should recognize our state in this life vis-a-vis -vis who it is we are speaking to when we pray. Who it is we are petitioning when we pray. We are praying to God, God who is our Father, and we, His children. We who are wholly dependent on Him, on His providence, on His grace. Okay? Providence means provide. to provide, right? To provide. So somebody who provides. God is the one who provides. And we go to God confident that He will provide. Okay? So we go with humility. That's the most important disposition in prayer. Okay? We, don't, we don't pray like that, uh, you know, the other example that our Lord gave about the, the publican uh, and the... Uh, and the um, uh? The what? Sorry? The Pharisee, right? So the publican was there at the very end of the temple, couldn't even look up and say, forgive me, I'm a poor sinner. Right? Whereas the Pharisee was in front of the temple and say, bragging to God, Oh, I give tithes, I give this, I do that, I pray a lot, you know, so give me what I ask of you. <coughs> See? Our Lord looks at the humble heart, looks at the humble person who knows to acknowledge his own nothingness before his Father God. And he prays to ask with humility. Okay? So we acknowledge. God's, uh, God's providence, God's greatness, God's care over us as a father. And then, we pray persistently. We ask without ceasing. Clama necesis, as the scripture says. Pray without ceasing. <laughs> trustingly, trustingly, confidently, okay? knowing that God will always answer our prayers. Whether it be a yes or a no. We are confident we will receive an answer. Right? As he himself has promised. Everyone who asks receives. Everyone who knocks will have a door open to him. Everyone who seeks finds. Okay. That's it for us. Fuck! <laughs> They're giving me the, the smiley again. Okay. Let's go. Have a good day everybody. Have a good day ahead of you. Bye. Bye. Now you can stay on camera. I'll put. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Bye.